Oh, so I forgot to do one of those New Year posts where it's like the year looking back and then it flashes with a bunch of pictures and all that. And I started putting one of those together and then I realized how much we've actually done this year. And it's way too much to put into a video, but like, let's just have a look at how far we've come in just one year. We started this year, we had Topsy over in Ontario where it was going through testing. Cause I mean, we had just finished building this truck in the fall of 2023. So the start of 2024, was all about testing. Just countless hours on the laptop. We had to get it to where regen work, generator charging work, battery management system work, that all of the parts work together and we had to test failures. We had to test, what happens if you lose low voltage? What happens if this error occurs? What happens if you lose generator? If you lose your batteries, can you still drive off the generator? Like all of those things had to be tested and programmed and we had to verify and make sure that the truck was safe. It was all about safety, then it was all about performance, then it was all about reliability. Once we were happy with that, we got to ship the truck back to BC, and we had to go through the process of making this truck road legal. See, before we could only drive it on private lots. It wasn't road legal, we had to go through all the testing involved with that. And this was detailed testing. Like, they ripped this thing down to the bones, inspecting everything. We had to fix any little issue they found, but we did it, and we got a VIN number. Topsy passed its test, and we had a road legal truck in the spring. So then we just started driving it around, drive it down the road, see what happens. I mean, it was just constant hours of just doing this up and down the road, drive it till something breaks, figure out what breaks, fix the programming, fix the part, working on getting it more and more reliable. And over time we did. We started to where it would only drive 10 minutes and we'd have a fault. And then we got to the point where we could drive a whole day, two days, three days. Get, and we just kept moving those fault intervals farther and farther out as we refined everything. We got to go on further and further drives, get the speeds higher and higher. This was an awesome moment to be able to cruise around and drive in something that we designed and built ourselves. Once we got the truck working pretty reliably bobtail and got a lot of the kinks worked out of it, we figured, well, now it's time to go pin onto a trailer and yank the empty trailer around. Which meant just going around and driving around with an empty trailer and getting data from that. Once we were happy with the empty trailer, we got to actually go haul some loads of logs. We went to the mill, did some mill to mill transfers, and we hauled 150,000 pounds of logs multiple times, making deliveries. It just felt awesome. Fun fact, the first load of logs that our diesel electric truck hauled was unloaded by a diesel electric log loader. After hauling logs, we just used Topsy to go pull some of our own stuff around. We needed to go get parts for the next trucks we were building, we just used Topsy. Then we took Topsy over to Alberta with Royal Oil Field, and we got to haul around some cool low bed stuff out there. And of course, while we're out there, we had to do some off-road testing where we took her down, up and down a dirt road a whole bunch, see what we could rattle loose. Able to fly pretty good. You guys want to learn more about the testing, make sure you go watch the long format videos of BMS failures, testing, lessons learned. And make sure you check out the Everything Wrong with Topsy where we show you everything that we learned in testing and what we're going to be fixing. We started this year by working on just programming the truck to get it working correctly. Then we tested it. We showed what failed, we showed what we had to learn, and we showed everything that we're gonna be changing on the truck going forward, moving into the next trucks. Right now, Topsy is in the shop. They're taking some components out and we're upgrading it to version 2.0 that'll be a lot more similar to what our customers are getting. Honestly, I'm just really impressed that we were able to go to, from this year to something that was just proof of concept in theory, to programming, to working, to where we can feel comfortable actually selling a version to customers, which brings us to the next update is that we went from just having one prototype to now we've got customers and we've got 10 trucks lined up to be built. To learn more about that, make sure you check those videos out. These customers were strategically picked because of their industry, their knowledge. We've got great strategic partners going forward. So now it's not just us, but we've got industry partners who are working with us to help build a better truck. So I am so excited that we were able to achieve that this year. And in other cool achievements, you guys really said, hey, we want to see this retrofit come into our pickup trucks. Well, we were able to look at what we learned in the semi trucks. And instead of using six batteries, well, we need two batteries. Instead of using six inverters, we can use two inverters. And we were able to downsize it for a pickup truck. So we were able to announce that. If you guys want to help support us on the pickup truck project, um, I encourage you to go to the website. We have a reservation uh, and the, all the money go from that goes towards funding the research, the development, and building the first truck. So thanks to everyone that reserved one of these and allowed us to actually build the kit. Uh, this is the Canadian price, by the way. And now we got these first five pickup trucks going. 
we had some people that said, hey, we want to learn how to install it. And we set up this installer network and we're going to start once we move into the new shop, we'll be able to start training up the installers on these first few trucks. So like it's exciting. We're actually getting some installers, some service network on top of all everything else. Like that's all happened just this year alone. This project has been in partnership with the Boss Garage, who has been absolutely phenomenal. If you guys want to check out more videos on our pickup truck retrofit, make sure you check out the Boss's Garage channel. He's putting up all the information and all the updates on there. We even developed our own electric axle housing, where we took the electric motors, designed our own differential, where you just slide the axle tubes in and the electric motor controls it, and so that we can use the factory existing axle tubes. That was all designed, built, and installed this year alone. And we set up some great partnerships with our suppliers this year. Like we were able to go check out some Scania trucks. Now we're using Scania motors through Color Cut uh, in our trucks going forward. So we got a great motor supplier. Same thing, we're working with rad companies, suspension companies, front. So we went from just ordering parts over the counter to having dedicated supply chain set up for our trucks. And this has a lot to do with our engineering and design being finalized. We came out with the newest truck design. I wasn't as much of a fan of the center seater as I thought. Once, the more I drove it, the more I realized why you just want a normal cab. But we were able to grow it. So now we got some actual engineers, electrical, mechanical. They've been working together. They've been putting it all into 3D space. And then we've been able to work directly with our suppliers through our engineers to source all the parts off the shelf, but have dedicated parts. Like now we know exactly what we're using in the next trucks. And we were able to set up dedicated supply chains which wasn't always the case. We outsourced a lot on Topsy. This year, we've been able to internalize all of that design going forward, which given us a lot more control over programming, development, engineering, everything there. So not only did we finish all of the engineering work, wiring harnesses laid out, airlines laid out, all the stuff placed where it needs to be placed, we were able to sell those trucks, finish the engineering, and we've already been able to order the parts and we've started production on the next truck. So. We went from just programming to testing to learning and engineering and redesigning to selling to being able to go into production in just one year. Like that is insanely quick for the limited resources that we've had to achieve that. Those new parts have already shown up. Like we got our new electric axle, it's installed, it's in the chassis. This truck is already a full rolling chassis with electric axle, new suspension and cab on. This was supposed to be just a one minute short video. I realize this went long. I'm sorry for that. It's just, we did so much and accomplished so much this year that a one minute short wasn't gonna cover it in the way that it should be covered. And this, this was still just a high level view. This doesn't even cover all the CMVSS stuff. A high school EV rodeo that we hosted, uh, which is happening again this year. I'm gonna announce that here in the next couple of weeks, but all the parts have been ordered. All the failure mode analysis things that we had to do. This year, we took Edison Motors that had a theoretical concept for a truck, but was largely unproven, to a proven concept that works with actual customers and engineering and everything. We took us from an idea to a real company this year. That's a progress that we've made, and it's been incredible, and I've enjoyed this ride, and I've enjoyed sharing it with you guys, and we're going to keep sharing with you, and we're going to keep growing, and I can't wait to see what 2025 brings. And we ended the year by launching our investment raise, which is currently up now on the website. And with that, we've already raised a couple million. So we're going to be able to get a new shop, move out of the tent and take the next step to actually having a proper shop. If we're a proper company that's actually building trucks for customers, we need to have a proper shop. And that's what this raise is going towards. Thanks for watching this longer video, guys. It's been a fantastic year.